Hi, my name is Mike Spenz. I'm an applications engineer with Go Engineer. And today's quick tip is going to be on using 3D via Composer and transforming components or moving components around and focusing on pivots to help you move the components in the direction you want. So I'm going to start out with a, uh, an assembly model that had a robotic arm because it's got some nice angles. And if you tried to move parts around or explode them when they have angles to them, there's some nuances to it that make it a little bit tricky. So if you haven't done it before, this will give you the ideas of how to take care of that effectively. So I'm going to march up the assembly tree here a little bit um, and hide all the other components so I can get down to just focusing on this arm. And let's look straight on from the side. In fact, I'm going to flip it around the other way. I'd like to look at it this side. And let's go with just a flat technical illustration style. And let me go ahead and save a view. I call this arm side. Okay, my intent is to take some of these screws and explode them out uh, so that I can show how to disassemble uh, the front end of the arm. Okay. So in selecting those, obviously there are different directions you can select. If you select left to right, you get a crossing window. Um, right to left, you get only things included in that window. And I happen to grab a little bit of extra geometry over here. So then a shift window select gets rid of that little component uh, that I had also selected. Now as I go into the transform tab and turn on translate, the first thing that you'll notice if you've uh, tried this before is your translate arrows are aligned with the global coordinate system. That might be fine if you're dealing with orthogonal designs. This is not. So that won't work out for me. So let me give you a couple ideas. One option is to turn on the option for multiple gizmos. Now, you might wonder what are gizmos. If you've been through the training, this kind of image of this triad on the screen is the gizmo on the pivot. <laughs> the pivot is actually the rotational coordinate system of the component itself. Not that you care about all that many details. But if I turn on multiple gizmos, each of those screws has its own local coordinate system. Now lucky for me, those are in the direction that I need. So I could grab any one of these three red handles and drag that in the direction I need to explode these screws. And so I'm going to pull them up and out of the way. So that's one method using multiple gizmos. Now that we've moved those three components in the position we want, let's focus on rotating and moving uh, the head itself. So again, we're dealing with the same angle. So let me grab all of the, uh, the head components, again, by just window selecting from right to left. I still have the multiple gizmos option on. And here again, I get a lot of clutter on the screen for components because each one of these actors or components has its own gizmo and its own pivot direction. So what I'd like to do first is get all of these pivots aligned in one direction, one uniform direction, especially they rotate. You can see this is um, painful to even look at. So what I'm going to do is tell it to set this pivot on a given line or an axis. Now I'd really like to put it at the center here, but since that's a little crowded, I'm just going to set it off to the edge for a moment. And that takes all of those individual pivots and gizmos and moves them to that location. And then I'm going to reset it one more time and go to the center of this hole. All right, so I still have multiple gizmos turned on, but now each one of these individual actors has that location. So for example, if I save this as a selection, call it um, arm end. If I select an individual actor out of that arm end, you'll see it has the same uh, pivot location. Or if I go back and select my arm end selection, now what I'd like to do is rotate that first. So I'll choose the rotate command and let's turn this jaw out a little bit and now I'd like to translate it as well. So I'll choose translate and now I'm dealing with one directional pivot to be able to make something that would have been very difficult because of the compound angles involved uh, with all those individual actors. So that has been using pivots, setting the pivots, and using multiple gizmos 
to move and rotate components that might be in difficult directions. Again, my name is Mike Spenz, and this is a quick tip from Go Engineering.